Hello everyone, my name is Xi Wang and I'm from School of Data Science and Engineering at East China Normal University. And here I'm going to present my joint work with Professor Jimmy Ng from Ella College of Management at the University of Arizona. So the goal of our work is to find a multivariate version of Bernoulli distribution with two main properties. First, we would like this multivariate distribution to be able to capture correlation between different dimensions. And secondly, we would like this distribution to be reparameterizable so that it could be used in deep genre models such as rational encoder. Therefore, we propose Relax Motorer Bernoulli, a distribution that extends Relax Bernoulli from the univariate case to the multivariate case using Gaussian copula. And then we generalize semi-supervised VAE to the multi-label case using relaxed multivariate Bernoulli. So let's first take a look at some background knowledge. In variational encoder, people will use the reparameterization trick to obtain a low variance gradient estimator of the objective. And concrete distribution proposed by Chris Madison and Eric Jin extends this trick from continuous distribution to discrete distributions. And its binary version is called Relax Bernoulli. Your Relax Bernoulli is defined according to a simulation procedure of two steps. First, one needs to generate a uniform distributed noise, U. And then, one needs to perform a deterministic transformation on U. And this transformation is parameterized by a learnable parameter alpha and a hyperparameter lambda. When the hyperparameter lambda goes to zero, the variable we just acquire, B, would become a Bernoulli with P equal to alpha divided by one plus alpha. However, it should be noticed that relaxed Bernoulli is only defined for the univariate case. That is to say, when in some scenarios like a discrete relation space model, where we need a vector of relaxed Bernoulli, we have to make the assumption that different dimensions are independent of each other because there's no parameter in Relax Bernoulli that describes the correlation between different dimensions. And we believe that this independent assumption would make it suboptimal for some specific tasks, such as multi-label classification, in which one needs to assign a set of binary attributes to an object. And if we choose to make this independent assumption, that means we decide to ignore the correlation between different attributes, which could potentially affect the prediction performance. And to tackle this issue, we propose to combine Relax Bernoulli with Gaussian copula. A copula is a multivariate cumulative distribution function for which the marginal probability distribution of each variable is uniform on the interval 0, 1. And one way to construct a copula is via a multivariate normal distribution. And the resulting copula is called a Gaussian copula. And a very important property of Gaussian copula is that it could generate a vector of correlated random variables with uniform marginals. We then think of replacing the uniform distributed variable in the original Relax Bernoulli U with a vector generated from Gaussian copula. And following a simulation procedure similar to Relax Bernoulli, we can then obtain a random vector B, which has Relax Bernoulli as its marginal. But now, different dimensions in B are no longer independent because the correlations are now being captured by the covariance matrix of the Gaussian copula. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our model, we train a VAE with binary latent space to perform the density estimation task. We train two models. One uses relaxed multivariate Bernoulli as the version of posterior which 
takes correlation into account. And the other model uses a fully factorized relaxed Bernoulli as the variational posterior, which we will consider as the baseline model. And our experiments are performed on MNIST and Omniglot with latent space of 20, 40, and 100 dimensions. And as we can see, the model that takes correlation into account performs better than the baseline model in both reconstruction quality and test loss. That is to say, modeling correlation does help improve the overall performance. And our second experiment is a semi-supervised multi-label classification task. And in this experiment, we generalize semi-supervised VAE from the multi-class case to the multi-label case to infer facial attributes in the celebrity A data set. The celebrity A data set is a collection of celebrity face images with attribute annotations. And each attribute is described in a, in a binary form. For example, the annotation will tell you if the face in an image has mustache or not. We then choose to model these attributes using a relaxed multivariate Bernoulli distribution, which is referred to as Q5Y given X in our model. And in our experiments, we randomly select 80,000 images as the training set and 2,000 images as the test set. And from all those facial attributes, we select a subset of 25 facial attributes as our training data. And here's the experiment results. Clearly, by capturing correlation between different attributes, we are able to achieve better classification accuracy. And I will also i also like to mention that in experiments, to better approximate the discriminative term in the objective, we further adopt the high concrete distribution on q or given x. And you could refer to our paper for more details on this part. And that's the end of our presentation. And we are welcome for more advice, suggestions, or questions regarding our work. And thank you for your time.